Hey, welcome back. I hate this camera. As I was saying, in the War for Cybertron Siege Trilogy lineup, this little symbol is supposed to replace the Autobot symbol. So this is the Cybertronian version of the Autobot symbol. This is young, the standard Autobot symbol. At least that's how I'm taking it as. Because I know the Decepticons has a whole nother different symbol. So let's get this guy out of packaging. Not that many tie downs on this power. Which is a very, very good thing. Good, you can kind of see it. But see right there? But it kind of looks like a nasty little spaceship type of design. That's going to be Decepticon symbol. This symbol is going to be Autobot symbol. At least that's how I'm taking it because if you let every single Decepticon bots, they're going to have the standard traditional Decepticon logo, faction symbol, and then that new symbol, just like with the Autobots, you're always going to see the little Autobot symbol, and then you're going to see this new little Triton symbol. So how big is he? How tall does he stand? Let's get him kind of scaled up with some other Transformers. Uh, come on. So, yeah. So, here he is, kind of in lineup with the others. So, all these are Deluxe Quest. So, Deluxe Quest, Sky Tread, Deluxe Quest, Sits Gun, Deluxe Quest, uh, Power to Prime, Hot Rod. So, he's about even with Hot Rod. And maybe this shot just a little bit better than Skytread. And then with their, uh, I probably call these weaponizers. They're not weaponizers. These two are weaponizers. This is a, uh, it's not a target master, but it would be, I don't know, not what we consider a target master, more of a minicon? What are they? They're not fail masters. They're, uh, I can't remember what the F these guys are, but yeah, they're just like mini cons. I just can't remember what the name of those little fellas are. Do I have a what on them? Uh, nope. Maybe I do. Micro Masters, that's what they are. Micro Master. So, yep. That's kind of. Move the other guys out of the way here. And get on to him. So for face sculpt detail. He doesn't have much going on. Arms can come out to here. And that's about it. Because they stop right there. Which is kind of stupid. They can rotate around. Oh, they could come out a little bit more if you pull this part up. But if you pull that part down, then why about there? Why is that? Pull this part up, and you got a little bit more room. 
He can do that freely. He can rotate that around up to about there and stuff. Head can rotate side to side, I believe all the way around. Uh, legs can go up to about there, there. Knee bind due to transformation. Uh, they can't go bad all the way. Because see, they kind of stop them from going bad all the way. From his little butt skirt. And stuff. And. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. Let's give him his little guns here. And. He can hold his guns, although I say the left gun is a lot tighter, because the right gun, as you can see here, it just kind of freely swings around. This one stays in place. And the pads are in there, so I don't know what's wrong with that. Well, let's take the guns off to the side. Let's let the instructions. But it actually goes this way. So it looks like you just pull the top of the body off, turn his head around, fold it up, pull the arms off, and reattach them. But this one seems pretty simple. So we just pull the body off, and you pull it forward because there's this little pad right there, and there's this little hole right there. Tight and hole. Nothing on the side here. So we just do that. Then we uh, turn his head around. This showing goes this way. So it's kind of tight, but could we get his head flip around? Then we uh, fold this chest piece up. They're saying. So I'm not sure. Okay. Well, actually, we flip his head down like that. So his head goes back there. Then with the arms, we just want to whittle them out of the little hole from the pattern hole series. Okay. Then we uh, turn him around forward. So these two parts point forward. His arms, we just attach way up here again and there you go the first little vehicle is made they splits into now for this one the sand and then take mm, very very stiff and the legs kind of pop off Put this in here. Fold it over to his knees or something. Okay, so we attach the legs. Yeah, it's true. Everyone's saying the legs come off, but I actually think the legs stay on a little bit tighter than with sits gun. So we just fold this over top of itself. Okay, and. There is a little tab up there. You probably can't see it, but it does tab in here. Way in there. So, that's going to be kind of tricky. But, hopefully we can get to work. If not, you know what I say? F it, right? So, uh, well, it looks like it's in. So, they're in. And then they're saying... Uh, what? Just turn around like this. Okay. Take these little guns and slot them 
on the sides here. And there you go, there's your second little weaponized mode. And then you can take this one and put these little pads into the feet here. As I can tell, these are not lined up. Okay, they don't really want to pet in. Actually, they don't pet in there. My mistake. They, uh, what? Okay, where is Hasbro and Kaitani? So, the farm is supposed to just tab in underneath these big giant hams. Oh, so uh, actually, I had it backwards in reverse. So, I mean, this was all white, but I was trying to get this little one to go into the blue one. Not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take the blue one, and the blue is supposed to go in the back of the silver one. Because, see, that little tab right there is supposed to tab in on this little one right here. Now it has not It doesn't completely lock into place, so as you can see, there is some friction, uh, friction issues. Now, if you have it like on the ground, it is going to stay in place. So here's what it's supposed to look like: in two combined little land assault vehicles. Then you know you can separate them into two separate pieces, and then. There's all different loadouts that you can 